Hello everyone, Troy here, Swag Off-Road. Welcome to another edition of Swagology. I'm here to show you a new product as well as a product line extension. The new product in question is our seven piece knockout punch set, shown here. Knockout punch set consists of a male and female die. The male die is threaded and it is to be used with a knockout punch set that typically is offered from Greenlee or also available at Harbor Freight. The advantage of a knockout punch set over most people's current method, a hole saw. Do these run true? Yeah, sort of. Do they squeak? Are they noisy? Are they slow? Does a bit break and the thing kind of walk down your aluminum trailer? Ask me how I know. They work well, they're cheap, but there's much better alternatives. And if you're looking for clean edges that's efficient, fast, and quiet, our knockout punch set has some definite advantages. Now these are machined 100% and heat treated here in Oregon at a 4130 steel, and then heat treated, hence it's orange brownish hue. The seven piece set complements our eight piece dimple die set. Why is there an odd number? because our smallest dimple die goes down to half inch diameter. Now hopefully everybody watching this video has a half inch drill bit. If not, I don't know how you stumbled upon this channel. Nevertheless, today we're going to show you how to use these, cut the hole, and then dimple die and flare the hole. We have a few random parts here off to the side. Now what we're going to be using is a Harbor Freight knockout cylinder. Now before I lose half of my audience, keep in mind, for 100 bucks at Harbor Freight, you can buy this knockout cylinder. It typically comes with an eight ton manual hand pump. We switched it over to a foot pedal pump because I'm all about efficiency and making things faster. For 100 bucks, you get the ram, the pump, as well as five knockout cutters from Harbor Freight for 100 bucks. Keep in mind that five piece cutter is for pipe not tube. I'm selling a tube knockout punch set. So for the five piece Harbor Freight knockout punch set that comes in pipe sizes, we also offer five pipe dimple dies. Can be used in conjunction. Now that I've confused half my audience, let me go back here to the actual product I wanted to demonstrate. Again, our knockout punches. So recently I bought a trailer. Had to put new tires and wheels on it. The new wheel hubcaps have a solid center. All six axles, or all three axles, all six wheels have greasable zerks. So I want to put a hole in the hubcap so I can grease the zerks without having to pull the wheel off. The only thing I need to do is find the center, drill a three quarter inch hole. That will allow me to use this knockout cylinder and cut it. So, our seven piece set starts off at three quarter, one, one and a quarter, one and a half, inch and three quarter, two, and two and a half inch. So we'll be using the two inch here, because that's the size that we truly need. Put the male, female end down, put this guy, this is threaded, so you'll just thread it down the stud. Hook up my air hose. Just like that. So now I got a nice see through hole. I'll go back and deburr it a little bit. It's easily done. I'll unthread the piece. Again, the, uh, it's hard to tell by the videos, but machining on these parts is absolutely phenomenal. And here's the piece comes out. Nice little wave pattern. Second piece I'm going to do is a piece of 3 16 aluminum. Now as far as the specs, you can go up to 3 16 aluminum, 8 inch steel or chromoly, as well as stainless. You cannot do, put it this way, 8 ton ram right here will not do 3 16 steel or chromoly or stainless. It just physically does not have enough power. So we're going to cut a hole. I'm going to find the right size that I like. 
This is the, uh, what, inch and a quarter hole in 3 16 aluminum. Again, we're going to put the female die down. Drill a three quarter inch pilot hole, slide over the stud. Thread this little guy down the, down the threaded arbor. Now I'll leave it a little bit exposed so you can kind of see what's happening. There we have it. So there's not a snowball's chance and you know where that you could ever do this with a hole saw nearly as fast and efficiently as you can with our knockout punch set. Again, that drive slug comes right out, makes a neat little wavy washer as well. So now we're going to step up here to the eighth inch steel, and I'm going to show you how we cut it and then dimple dye it. So I'm going to use, it's a good size, this is one inch. So again, female die down. Grab that guy on. Hook up my air hose. Yeah, and the drive slug comes right out. So now we're going to use the appropriate size dimple die set and flare the hole. I don't know if you can tell by the photos, but on this previous hole in a video that got edited out, um, I used a much larger hole. Again, no problem. Here's the drive slug. Worked just peachy. There is very, very little deformation. I don't know if you can see that, but um, main holds true to its shape. And it does make a circle. Unlike hole saws, it make a circle-ish type shape. So, find the right size dimple die. Die there. Put that there. Tell you what, I want the flared hole to go the opposing direction. So, I'll flip it that way. And I lost the nut somewhere in the shop, but I'm going to use the back side of one of our punches to flare it. So, again, Now you'll notice this rather atrocious looking shape. I did dimple dye. So now we're going to go back and counter flare it the opposing direction. What I did there is use the next size dimple die to flatten it back out. Again, you saw how quickly that was done. From my, all you need to do is drill a three quarter inch pilot hole, which can easily be done with a stepper bit. Use a knockout punch set to create the hole dimple dye the hole, eighth inch steel, no sparks, no mess, no noise, really, really efficient. So again, these are heat treated 4130 chromoly, 100% made here in the US and Oregon. They complement our eight piece dimple dye set. And we also have a five piece pipe dimple dye set that complements the five piece cutter dies from Harbor Freight. So if you haven't purchased a five piece cutter die set with the knockout punch from Harbor Freight or Greenlee, and there's several other brands out there. I say Harbor Freight just because they're in almost everybody's town these days. It is a, uh, a good quality product. We have used this RAM, I bet you, in the shop well over a thousand times. And it works as good as the day I bought it. Uh, if you have any questions, check out the website. Thanks for watching. Again, this can be found at swagoffroad.com. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.
拜。